Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. In this video, we are going to discuss one important topic from the enzymology that is enzyme inhibition. So first, let's see what is enzyme inhibition. So substance, any substance which reduces the catalytical efficiency of enzyme is called as an inhibitor and this particular process is known as an enzyme inhibition. Now there are four major types of enzyme inhibition. First one is the competitive, second one is the non-competitive, third one is the uncompetitive and the fourth and last one is the suicidal inhibition fine so first let's see competitive enzyme inhibition so in the competitive enzyme inhibition as the name suggests there is a competition for the binding towards the active site of enzyme between substrate and inhibitor why there is a competition because inhibitor is structurally similar to that of substrate and this type of enzyme inhibition can be turned off by increasing the substrate concentration so that's why it is a reversible type of enzyme inhibition in the competitive enzyme inhibition Vmax will remain same while KM will be increased. Many drugs like methotrexate, sulfonamide, uh, isoniazide, then ethanol which is used in a methanol poisoning are the classic example of competitive enzyme inhibition. Now second type is the non-competitive enzyme inhibition. So in the non-competitive enzyme inhibition there is no competition between substrate and inhibitor for binding towards the enzyme. Why there is a no competition? Because inhibitor is not structurally similar to that of substrate and this inhibitor will bind to other than active site of the enzyme. In the non-competitive enzyme inhibition, KM will remain same while Vmax will be lowered. And many heavy metal poisonings are the example of non-competitive type of enzyme inhibition. Now the third one is the uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition. In the uncompetitive type of enzyme inhibition, uh, inhibitor doesn't have any affinity towards the free enzyme. It will binds towards the binds towards the enzyme substrate complex. And in the uncompetitive enzyme inhibition, Vmax and KM both will be lowered. And the example is inhibition of placental alkaline phosphatase by phenylalanine. And the fourth and the last one is the suicidal inhibition, which is also called as a mechanism a mechanism based inactivation. In the suicidal inhibition, the structurally similar uh, inhibitor towards the substrate will bind to bind towards the enzyme, and it will allow first few catalytical steps and the product which is synthesized it is more potent inhibitor of enzyme as compared to the original inhibitor and this product will irreversibly inhibit the enzyme so basically in the suicidal inhibition enzyme literally does the suicide that's why it is known as a suicidal inhibition and the classic example of suicidal inhibition is the allopurinol which is the drug of choice for the gout which inhibits the xanthine oxidase enzyme so that is all about enzyme inhibition and if you are new to my youtube channel then please like share and subscribe and don't forget to don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it 